Welcome back to the Astro Park, everyone. My name is Kwesi Akwa, and this video will be a continuation of the series that I'm calling My Telescope Family, where I talk about the different types of telescopes that I personally own and use for astronomy and astrophotography. So today's video is going to be all about the Orion Eon 104EDX2. So let's get this guy up on the mount and I'll talk about all the details. The Orion Eon 104EDX2 is a triplet apochromatic refractor telescope. So just like the Raptor 61, it has three lens elements up front and the ED stands for that extra low dispersion glass. However, with the X2, it means that not only does this telescope use one element of ED glass, but it uses two elements of ED glass, giving this telescope fantastic color correction and very minimal to practically zero chromatic aberration, which is pretty remarkable. And those two ED elements are made up of FPL 53 and FPL 51 glass. So just like in the name of the telescope, the 104 EDX2 has a 104 millimeter aperture and a 650 millimeter focal length giving it a focal ratio of f6.25. So I mainly use this telescope for deep space astrophotography, as the focal ratio gives it a nice medium to wide field of view. So objects such as the Orion Nebula, the Andromeda Galaxy, the Rosette Nebula, basically most of the Messier objects, as well as those medium to large deep space objects will all come out very nicely in a telescope like this. And those two elements of ED glass will basically minimize the chromatic aberration. So you don't have to worry about doing any additional editing in post-processing. So some of the features that this telescope includes is that it has internal machine baffles that go all the way through the tube of the telescope. And this prevents the light from your subject from bouncing around on the inside, giving it lower contrast. So you, you can ensure that all the light that's being gathered is all collected onto your eyepiece or your camera sensor. And another feature that it has, it has a very robust 2.7 inch rack and pinion focuser. And the rack and pinion focusers are designed to hold a lot of weight in the back. It can hold up to 15 pounds of camera equipment without any flexure. So if you have a lot of objects such as your camera, your filter drawer, filter wheel, field flattener, Pretty much anything that adds up to 15 pounds, it can hold it very securely. And it also has a 10 to one reduction focus knobs. So the large knob is for your coarse focus and the smaller one is for finer adjustments. And it also has two adjustment screws up top here. So this first one, you can adjust the focuser in any orientation, and the one in the back, you can adjust the camera in any orientation. So that can help you with framing your object properly. And one of my favorite features is that it has a ring locking mechanism in the back. Traditionally, most telescopes tend to use uh, set screws in the back to hold your eyepiece or your camera. However, with this twisting mechanism, you can just untwist it here, attach what you need to, and then twist it back and it'll hold it very tightly and securely. 
So this definitely comes in handy when you're using the telescope during the winter time when it's cold and you have your gloves on and you don't want to fiddle around with any set screws. And lastly, the telescope has a retractable dew shield. So you can extend this fully when you're in session and it will protect the lens from any dew formation as well as any external light sources. And then when you're finished, you can just collapse it back into its nice compact form and this will fit into its heavy duty aluminum case that it comes packaged with. Here's a few sample images that I've taken so far using the 104ED-X2. So that was my overview for the Orion Eon 104ED-X2. I've had a lot of fun using this telescope to photograph deep space objects, and those two pieces of ED glass have definitely been a game changer. If you're already a seasoned observer or astrophotographer looking for a quality instrument to give you the best views as well as the best images possible, then I would recommend giving the 104 EDX2 a try. So, thank you for watching Astro Park, and until next time, take care, and I wish you all clear skies.